So on this 2004 Toyota Sienna, as you can see here, the field coil went out on the clutch on the compressor, right down there where my lasers, let's see if my laser, right, right down there, there's the clutch and then the field coil inside went out on it. This has 270,000 miles on it. And yes, uh, you could argue, well, just throw on a field coil and the compressor works good. Uh, one thing people don't understand is that an AC compressor on a car should last the life of a vehicle. Unless there's actually a manufacturing flaw where they have a defect and they're busting or something's happening or they have some case design problems and they leak, compressors last for the full life of the vehicle when they're maintained and properly serviced properly. The word is properly, not topped off or allowed to go low and leak. If the compressor never suffers from lack of oil or lack of cooling, usually the compressor will outlast the vehicle. So in this case, they're not going to just change the field coil for the clutch. They're going to change the whole compressor. They're just playing it safe. Uh, they don't want to come back. 270,000 miles, 2004. Now they want it to change the desiccant. And the desiccant is located inside the tube right there. That's where the receiver dryer is right there. And let's see if I could get my laser pointer. Nope, yep. Right there, right where you see that laser. That's where the desiccant is. But the condenser is original from 2004. And so they're gonna opt to change it just for safety's sake. Because the last thing you want to do is stick a several hundred dollar compressor on there, just change the sock, and then three months later have the condenser start leaking. So that's going to get changed on this one. So this will be a compressor, a condenser. I just looked at the refrigerant and it just has 4.6 air into it. So we know somebody most likely serviced it and got air in the system. They're not going to go after the expansion valve because it's not an easy one that's right there on the dryer. There was no burnout in the system, so no really big reason to, to take that much of an expense. And uh, that's it on this one. Uh, oh, speaking of refrigerant prices, have you noticed? I don't know what the refrigerant prices are. Here's my for my dirty refrigerant that I recovered. This is R134. Uh, prior to the lockdown COVID and everything like that, I was getting a tank, a 30 pound tank of R134 for $79. And through this year, I've been not having to buy much new stuff uh, because I have so much to recycle. There's only a few emergency times that I had to go back and buy 134. Well, I just bought my latest tank of R134 at the increased price. It's no longer $79, a 30 pound tank of refrigerant. It was now $179 for a tank of R134. That's over a 100% increase in the price of materials for R134. Uh, I haven't bought any YF refrigerant yet because I got a few hundred pounds that I still have to recycle. So I've been using up my recycled. Uh, I gotta ask what the latest price, see if it went up any. Uh, we all know R410 went up. Uh, you got a couple hundred dollars for a tank. I can no longer get 79 to a hundred dollars for a tank of R410, which is the residential and some of the commercial refrigerant. Uh, that price went up a few hundred dollars. So our price of materials has skyrocketed on air conditioning. And I just had a discussion with a shop, a body shop owner. Uh, told them the insurance company wouldn't pay them no more than, what'd they say? $350. I said, oh, but I was only given $350 to charge up this uh, Corolla with YF refrigerant. I go, well, good luck with that, buddy, because that doesn't pay my cost. So you better go back and talk to him because that's a mechanical procedure for one. So it's at mechanical labor rate not body shop labor right body shop is like 105 125 mechanicals 185 285 so you know go jump off a bridge insurance company um yeah 
costs have been a big thing if you'll notice so all right i'll see you guys later and uh, i'll recover this out and i'll be back on this one after they put on a new compressor and i have to remind them about oil balancing because they're not that good about that here um new condenser and we'll see how this thing goes all right see you guys